everybody, we got the Red Wings and the Hurricanes going at it tonight. Of course, uh, the big news is that we've got Evgeny Svechnikov called up from the taxi squad. So we're going to have Andre versus Gino. It's going to be huge. It's going to be fun. I mean, that's going to be the reason you want to watch the game tonight because... <laughs> Uh, well, we're going to do a quick preview here. Uh, you know, look, we, we we previewed what was going to happen with this season, uh, especially with uh, you know the Hurricanes and the Red Wings. It just it, it doesn't look good. Like, the Hurricanes are, are just a matchup nightmare for the Red Wings, especially where the Red Wings look to be uh, at least serviceable. I, I almost said dominant, but uh, their, their strength is just... From their roster, what they can put on the ice from a, from a strategy perspective, their strength, the best pieces of it, come when it's five on five. Um, even though we've seen three games in a row with uh, power play goals, we all know what I'm talking about. Um, it's not just because the weaknesses are so strong on special teams, but the strategy has been all season to limit what happens five on five. And as we saw in the first two games this year, despite throwing in a win, um, and what we've seen Carolina, you know, what they're able to do as a team, uh, being coached by Brenda Moore and this mentality of puck ownership that the Hurricanes have been operating with for the last few years, it really is strategy wise and player wise, a matchup nightmare for the Red Wings. Uh, so hold on to your butts. We do have Detroit Red Wings coming in 7, 15 and three with 17 points. The Carolina Hurricanes 15, six and one with 31 points, uh, second place right now in the uh, tonight's match is going to be Arena, where the Red Wings are 12, 5, and 0. Oh, pretty interesting there. And um, season series, like we just mentioned, 1 and 1 to start. Uh, and, of course, we're talking in regards to the wing bings. And we could have, based on what's been going on with Carolina, uh, Bernie and Reimer going at it. Um, that's where the Red Wings have an advantage is in goaltending. Reimer right now posting a 902 save percentage. Um, it's right now for Carolina. Um, Having Peter Morazic, who's been out indefinitely, is something uh, at the start of the season we saw Morazic uh, playing pretty well. Uh, but yeah, Reimer's got the 902 save percentage with the 2.9 goals against. Bernier at 913 with his save percentage at 2.84 goals against. And uh, take away that last game for Bernier. He's still at the tops in the league when it comes to his uh, goals save. Goals saved above expected. So you're taking what that expected goal should be. And what he's actually posting has, has been very good. Uh, it just so happens that last game we watched, uh, not so good. Um, maybe just look at that as an opportunity for Grice to get his head screwed back on uh, as he finished that off pretty well. Uh, DraftKings odds. Of course, uh, Everything Hockey Podcast Network sponsored by DraftKings. Our promo code THPN that is in reference to the Hockey Podcast Network is going to get you signed up and get you a bunch of exclusive offers uh, when you do sign up with DraftKings. But if you want to take a look at it, puck line right now, of course, Red Wings are the plus 1.5, as they will be all season. Money line, plus 240 if you go just straight Red Wings winning. Uh, some interesting bets I, I might want uh, you guys to take a look at. Uh, Evgeny Svechnikov maybe scoring while he's playing his brother. And, of course, he's on this hot start. So I uh, believe it said it's a, it's a plus uh, 340 if you go in that range. So. Um, you know, not really, you're not going to be uh, paying off your mortgage, but uh, it's something to take a peek at. It'll be fun to see if uh, Gino can pop one in there. And of course, uh, that brings us to our players to watch for this game. Uh, I am throwing, obviously, Evgeny Svechnikov in there, Robbie Fabry, Anthony Mantha. Uh, I might be stacking it here as if we're playing Daily Fantasy, but uh, I I'm guessing that's going to be, uh, or um, you know what, I'm not guessing that's going to be our top line. I would love for that to be our top line and to see uh, Gino going up against Andre, uh, because that is my number one for Carolina, Andre Svechnikov. I'm throwing Dougie Hamilton in there. He's had some good uh, point production the last couple of games, and you can't avoid Martin Neckes right now. Uh, everything he's putting up, uh, he had the shootout winner and uh, going with uh, a, a two-game point streak here. It's just it's something where if he starts clicking, I mean, Carolina's going to be looking at five guys that are all sniffing a point per game production. Uh, so it's just, uh, it's getting scary. Uh, Red Wings going up against Carolina. All right, I'm going to go a little bit quicker here because we have our keys to the game with Carolina coming in with three in a row. Of course, us going down uh, with two games in a row at a minus eight goal differential. Uh, things, if you just want to look at recent history, are looking like they're pointing in Carolina's direction. But here's my keys to the game. Uh, let the Svechnikov brothers clash. 
like if if it's something where this looks like such a matchup nightmare, just make sure that they're on the ice together. Like that's going to be everything for the Red Wings fans that are just looking for something to cheer for. So I'm putting that, that's my number one key to the game. Make sure those two get on the ice. If you have to blend up those lines, as the Red Wings fans love to say for Jeffy, um, blend them up, make sure at some point those guys are on the ice together. And, uh, you know, I, I look at this too. Like if, if we've been trying to search for something to get uh, Evgeny playing, like, we drafted him to play. Um, maybe this is it. Maybe this is where it, it's the awakening of that potential. Uh, number two, back to basics. So this is going to be crucial today that we, uh, when I say back to basics, get back to limiting those scoring chances, limit the events either way. And I, I also put the asterisk on there, except for when Svesh, Sveshnikov's out there. Uh, but, uh, limit the events because this could get out of hand and it can be dangerous for the Red Wings to go up against Carolina Hurricanes with how much they love to possess the puck. So let them get their shots, let them get their their chances, but make sure you that you're you're playing soundly enough that they're not getting too many odd man rushes and this 30% power play percentage isn't getting too many chances either, which is where I'm also putting uh, another key to the game is keep it 5 on 5. Uh don't Again, don't put yourself in any compromising positions uh, or situations. And I, I would say trust Jonathan Bernier to pull you out. Uh, for most of the season, he's been extremely, extremely reliable five-on-five five hockey. So just trust that that'll continue. Don't think too much about what just happened with Bernier. Just know that, you know, if anything, it's it's a law of averages game, and he had to have one in there somewhere. So now if we're going to continue with the law of averages, if we're going to continue with the fact that Bernier's been – fantastic for the Red Wings the last two seasons. Um, trust that. And if it's about taking a bad penalty to prevent, you know, uh, a, a more, a better scoring chance um, for, for Carolina, I, I say avoid that, avoid that penalty, trust Bernier and try and keep this game five on five. I think that's going to be key for keeping this close in the third and seeing if the Red Wings can pull out maybe another overtime winner. We won't be spaking uh, Bertuzzi tonight. But, uh, you know, as we know that Larkin and Bertuzzi are still out, so it is going to be tough for the Red Wings to overcome that. But uh, I'm still going to say that that those are your best shots right there to a victory. Uh, probably the second two. Uh, the first one's more of uh, where we're talking about Svechnikov brothers playing against each other. Are we going to accidentally run into uh, exactly what Gino needed to get, uh, to get that fire lit underneath him? So... Check it out today, guys. Uh, obviously, this game's going to be starting at 7 o'clock. Uh, nothing uh, too many of you that are tuning in don't already know, but um, you got to overcome You got to overcome this possession game uh, against the Carolina Hurricanes. They they actually, the Red Wings played that for those first two games with a 36% Corsi 4 percentage. So, obviously, that 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 is something you need to work around. If you want to see that number increase, that's the easy thing to say. But if you want to say that this game is going to be exactly the same, then it is about letting them have their fun with throwing the puck at the net. But just make sure you're playing sound defense. Make sure you're not giving them second chances. And make sure you're not giving them the odd man rushes because that's where that's where you're going to get destroyed in this game. So as long as that doesn't happen, Red Wings will get that shot in the third period. I'm still I'm still taking Carolina. Uh, I'm going to go with a 3-1 to one prediction. We'll hear from uh, Jesse and Mike later. And uh, that'll be posted at bodpodcast.com and uh, brothersindiscussion.com. So check that out there. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. And uh, enjoy the game tonight. And you'll see me uh, on Twitter and Instagram later doing my what the beak for the streak. So check that out. And uh, midseason uh, preview, or I'm sorry, midseason grades will be coming out next week at bodpodcast.com. So keep your eye out there. And of course, as always, uh, recording live Wednesdays and Sundays. And episodes go live uh, Thursday and Monday. Thanks, everybody. Red Wings Rant. Thank you.